the Sphinx. It is an iconic Egyptian monument. So iconic that they even created a replica almost double the size in Las Vegas. Egyptologists commonly believe that the Sphinx was built by the pharaoh Khafre in the 4th dynasty during the Old Kingdom in Egypt at around 2,570 years BC. But there is a problem. Certain evidence of weathering contradicts this, and there is a belief among some geologists and Egyptologists that the Sphinx is actually much older. Perhaps built by another culture that predates the ancient Egyptians, and in this video, we're going to explain it all. These are the secrets of the ancients. When Europeans first photographed the Sphinx, it was buried up to its shoulders in desert sand. This is a photo from 1871. Then the Sphinx was gradually excavated over the next several decades to reveal the body of a big cat, such as a lion, with the head of a pharaoh. Although, curiously, the head is out of proportion, being quite a bit smaller than you would expect relative to the size of the body. Remember this point, this becomes important later on. Now, Egyptologists settled on the date of around 2500 BC for the building of the Sphinx. In fact, it's chiseled out of the bedrock. But when author and lecturer John Anthony West went to Egypt in the 90s, he and his associates developed a different hypothesis about the age of the Sphinx. On that trip with West was Boston University professor Robert M. Schuch. He holds a PhD in geography and geophysics from Yale. The pair noticed something startling that made them think the Sphinx was thousands of years older than the conventional dates. Schoch writes on his website, I assumed that the Egyptologists were correct in their dating, but I soon discovered that the geological evidence was not compatible with what the Egyptologists were saying. On the body of the Sphinx and on the walls of the Sphinx enclosure, the pit or hollow remaining after the Sphinx's body was carved from the bedrock, I found heavy erosional features that I concluded could only have been caused by rainfall and water runoff. What he is talking about is this. Vertical erosion, as if water had run down the walls of the enclosure. He says it is also present on the body of the Sphinx, although it is less obvious in photos. To the naked eye, we mostly see wind erosion, although if you zoom in on some old photos, you do start to see vertical lines consistent with water erosion as well. Now, the area around where the Sphinx and the pyramids are located in Egypt has been a dry desert for 5,000 years. Other buildings verified as Old Kingdom ruins do not show signs of water erosion either. So this means the enclosure and probably the Sphinx itself would have had to have been built much earlier when the climate in the area was wetter. Schott estimates around 5,000 to 10,000 years BC. So why has it got a head resembling an Egyptian pharaoh? Didn't the period of the pharaohs only start around 3000 BC? Well, remember we pointed out the head was out of proportion with the body. Due to its smaller size and the fact that there is way less erosion on the head than the rest of the body, Schott suggests that the current head was actually carved out of the original head after the Sphinx had already been there for thousands of years probably during the reign of the pharaoh Khafre. And since they had to carve away the original head and start again, they had less rock remaining to work with, so the current head is smaller. Schoch thinks it originally had the head of a lion, or a lioness to be exact, representing the Egyptian god Mehit. This would be the inside of Mehit's head, formerly known as King Khafre's who, according to a translation of some ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics on another statue, was a guardian of the royal archives. You will notice that Mehit the lioness has rings around her neck, and if you look at old photos of the Sphinx, you will see a neck ring. This is not present in newer photos due to extensive reconstruction and repairs. So where is this great archives that Mehit is supposed to be guarding? Well, seismic studies have detected a chamber in the bedrock below the left paw of the Sphinx. Could this be the archives the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics speak of? And if so, what knowledge or artifacts could be kept within the chamber? Could it be...
<laughs> Just a little fun. But clairvoyant Edgar Cayce did have a vision that refugees from the lost city of Atlantis were indeed buried in the secret hall of records under the Sphinx. Researcher Mark Lehner explored a passage in the rear of the Sphinx, but said that there was nothing there. Any treasure or artifacts had already been removed by robbers throughout history. He did not find a passage to the lost hall of records or relics from Atlantis. Now the idea of the Sphinx being older than the Pharaoh Khafre or even older than Egyptian civilization is just one school of thought and many Egyptologists oppose this view but not all of them. It isn't just one professor from Boston University that has proposed this. Sir Flinders Patrie, a founding father of Egyptology, considered the Sphinx older than the Old Kingdom. And in 1900, Sir Gaston Maspero, director of the Department of Antiquities at the Cairo Museum, raised the possibility that the Sphinx was not built by Khafre, but was just unearthed by him, and perhaps it was him that reshaped the head in his own image. Personally, I have an open mind to explore any of these ideas and research about the origin of ancient architecture without clinging to a definite conclusion. But one thing is for sure, the more we research these things, the more we realize how little we know and how much knowledge still remains. Secrets of the Ancients. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more of this stuff about ancient Egypt, do leave a comment below. There are some fascinating topics around the Sphinx and the pyramids, especially the perfect geometry and how it all lines up with the sun and the stars and things like that. If you want to hear more about that, do hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.